Yeah, that's a lot heavier than the giant bag of actual popped popcorn that you guys send us. This is what they sent us. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Senior executive chef, aka head popcorn person, Jessica with us. Okay, so this is how the popcorn starts, but somehow you guys make it in such an amazing way that Steph Curry put in his top four popcorns at all NBA arenas. You know, the biggest thing I, I took away was uh, Steph Curry has too much time on hands. <laughs> oh! That's really what I took away. Um, but I'm excited to be in the top ten, top five even. That right? makes me happy. So what is it that you guys do to make the popcorn that is so good? Well, we start with Orho Redenbachers. So we're gonna take a full one cup measuring cup, <laughs> and then we're gonna take this flavor call, which is basically salt seasoning. So over to my popcorn machine. So this popcorn machine right here was uh, about $3,000. Specialty shipped to us, but obviously it's got all the big bells and whistles. So the first thing we're gonna do, push the oil pump. Can you guys hear that boiling? We're gonna stick that popcorn in there and then give it about two or three more minutes and you'll start hearing that very familiar sound. Yes. Like how much popcorn do you actually go through in one game? We have a much bigger uh, popcorn machine downstairs. It's about three times this size. It can do uh, about 20 garbage can size bags of popcorn in about four hours. I would say we probably go through about three times that amount for a game. Can you hear it? It's popping! Make oh, yes! Oh, kid! It oh, smells yes. amazing, <laughs> right? All right, and then as you start to hear the popcorn kernels, right? Just like you would for microwave popcorn. Yeah. Now, once you start hearing those popping, happen, it's a little bit less and a little bit less. You go ahead and turn the motor off. And then... Whoa! There you go. Oh my god, that scoop is ridiculous. Oh my go. goodness. Nice and warm. Fresh Moda Center popcorn, the bag is warm. That's Salty. at least like number two, probably number one. That's how I feel. I mean, we're gonna have to go on a lot of Blazers road trips to taste every other NBA arena's popcorn, but I will do that as long as my boss, you know, gave me the budget. But with only trying this one, I would say it's definitely number one. Mmm. Why is popcorn such a good basketball snack? I think it's a good everything snack. I don't know, I eat popcorn everywhere. The great thing about popcorn, or the horrible thing about popcorn, is that you can't stop eating it, which is why you guys sell a bottomless popcorn. What's the most that anyone ever comes back and refills the bottomless popcorn? Typically right now, we might see people three times, but I know of a couple of fans who come back at least five. In one game? In one game. <laughs> 20 minutes a bag. And she's killing that record, so we're, we're Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing it. it. <laughs> she's a, a popcorn protege, and she knows yes. what she's doing. A popcorn protege. Okay, it's time for my pop quiz. You really trust me with this? I've got popped slowly. Gotta press the oil button on. We need our scoop of kernels, a spoonful of flavacol, flavacol. Go, little popcorns. It's like a whistle. I was going to say, I'm starting to whistle. A popcorn's got a lot of things to tell us. It's full of secrets. <laughs> Can you tell us the final score of game three? Can you tell us who's going to win the series? Oh, they definitely said Blazers. I heard it. Oh, here it comes. Ah! <laughs> yes! The moment has arrived. I think it's you telling can... us that they predicted that 37-foot buzzer beater by Dane last week. I confirm. Secrets in the popcorn. This time? Yeah. Do it like you mean it. Wow! Fresh by Cassidy. Oh. She's great. That's definitely number one quality popcorn in the league. 